Okay, so our next mystery striker is Danny Ings. Only ranked 69, down from 78 from his original score. Um, he's quite prolific at the moment, uh, in, in real football that is. So it'll be interesting to see how he does in Footista. So he's playing as the out and out striker. And um, his morale, he's got a big blue arrow pointing up. So um, if this was any other striker, I would expect big things. But seeing as he's only ranked at 69 uh, for his for his overall skill, I guess we'll have to see what happens. But to my surprise, I just randomly picked out this team of cards. I mean, it's not too different from the one I used in the um, Roberto Baggio uh, team. Although I've changed a few players, I've got like Haaland, I've got Felipe Coutinho, and a few others. But I don't know if you noticed there, uh, before it changed over to the match day on the top right, all the hotlines were open to me, all the combinations. So uh, it might be worth remembering this one for uh, more competitive games. So we're playing against a Liverpool side. Um, so I do have a lot of Liverpool players in this team just because they give you the... Um, give you that little bit of a boost so uh, we'll see how we how we get on immediately we're giving a, um, uh, a skill increase to uh, Danny Ings just like we did with Roberto Baggio just to give him the best chance of scoring as many goals as possible while he's still fit and once again the hot line is going straight up the middle ending on Danny Ings. And speaking of, he just collected the ball then, he's played it back out to Sancho. He nips it in, but Ings is a bit too slow. Oh no, oh, wait. The keeper drops it, Ings runs in, ball breaks loose, Ings follows up, and oh, I see what happened, it was Yoda. Yoda ref came in and pushed the ball back to the goalkeeper's gloves. How annoying. Why did that not go to VAR? I don't know. But anyway, we've got a breakthrough. Um, Jan Felix shoots top right corner and scores. We have a breakthrough. But it's not Danny Ings. Jan Felix gets the first goal. So 1 0. We're looking pretty comfortable. Malicious tackle brought down in the centre of the field. Danny Ings, he's wriggled through, or oh, last minute. But he's stolen it back and he has scored. Lost the ball, managed to make up for this mistake, got it and poked it into the right. Keeper was left helpless. That's one goal for Danny Ings. Again, the AI not really up to the standard I would hope for this game. Felix plays it to uh, Ings, who just doesn't have a chance. It is immediately tackled. And now we have a free kick. And I think that was Felix played it left of the post, out for a goal kick. Collected in midfield again as Felix on the board. He's broken through, plays it through to Ings, and his defender gets there before Ings can pull the trigger on that one. And we've given a free kick away. They can probably float this one into the box. Uh, but the danger is immediately snuffed out. Ings and Sancho playing one-twos to each other there, and Ings finally loses the ball. Probably as a result to his low um, 
uh, technique skill, so he can't really hold on to the ball. And whoa, I don't know what happened there, but we had a bit of a bit of an AI glitch. And through Ings is through on gold again, and once again he's just too slow. Defender gets in and pokes the ball out, but we've recovered again. It's Felix through. Ings picks up the loose one and shoots and top left corner. That was a Gerard special if ever I saw one. And Danny Ings has two goals, so that puts him on four points. So he has already taken the lead since Roberto Baggio only got one assist. And we've gone into half time. Three goals up, two goals from Danny Ings. That puts him top of the league table. So now it's just a case of how much more and how many more points he can get, whether it be assists or goals. And immediately we're back on the attack, but their defence slides in, pokes it away. And we've managed to recover possession again. Plays it forward to Felix. Oops, threw on goal, Danny Ings picks up the loose one and he has scored again just inside the area, bottom right. So that's three goals for Danny Ings, putting him on six points. So he is well in the lead now. And there, uh, Liverpool making some substitutions there. That was Jordan Henderson going off with Genie Ronaldo coming on. And they've got Curtis Jones for Thiago coming on. And we've managed to recover possession again. But then they've managed to get it back and then we've managed to reclaim it a second time. Let's play forward to Danny Ings, who's Duped one, Jaden Sancho loses the ball as he tries to come in from the right. And that's blasted out into safety, Rosette for a throw in. That was Felix again, but the keeper managed to get down quick. Sancho plays it in, and would you believe it? Ings has picked up the loose ball, and he's got himself a fourth goal. So he is on eight points, and we still have quite a lot of this match to go. Things are getting desperate. They've taken off Van Dyke and they brought on Joel Matip at the back. Five nil. And that's Felix brought down there. Yeah, we could probably have a shot from here. This is Varon, and he plays it straight to the goalkeeper. Making a few changes there. I think we're bringing on Felipe Coutinho, substitution. Uh, as well as Thomas Muller by the looks of it. Plays for Felix. Nice comes on Coutinho. And he's immediately got a free kick in a dangerous position. Plays it wide to the right. And only in the 70 fourth minute, in the fifth minute, so Danny Ings could potentially get a lot more goals, although he is very, very tired. <laughs> Not playing currently with a hotline, it's Thomas Muller, whose super sub comes on and plays it into the bottom right. Casemiro coming off and we've just brought on Luka Modric just to shore up our midfield make sure we don't concede any. Danny Ings is very slow now. Thomas Muller could have played through to Ings but decided to go it alone and has scored unbelievably. It 
because in that situation I was actually telling Muller to pass it to Danny Ings, but he didn't. That's what I mean about the AI can't make its mind up. Now we've got a breakaway here. Chesney, oh, is it Allison quick off his line? Uh, I was playing with Chesney in a previous game, but I think I changed it to Allison. So. Anyway, he's gone out for a throw in for Liverpool. And it's another throw in. And that's full time. So Danny Ings. Uh, seven goals, Danny Ings got four of them, giving him eight points in total. So he has gone right to the top of the league table. As you can see here, four goals, eight points. R Roberto Baggio down to second, one assist with only one point. I don't think that's going to be enough to even stay in second, but we'll have to see how we get going in the next games. So thank you for coming to watch this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope you come back for our future Mystery Striker videos and I'll speak to you again then. Thank you very much guys.